Apogee A8050. Hello, my name is Doug Hubbell and welcome to Astrophotography Tutorials. Today I'm going to talk about the Apogee A8050. This camera I won in a raffle and I want to show you all the features of this particular hardware next. Ascent by Apogee. This is a uh, 8 megapixel CCD cooled camera. Uh, the uh, CCD is about the same size as an 8300 chip except this is an A8050. Uh, the A8050 and the 8300 are both interline chips. The, uh, the chip right here in this camera in the Ascent is uh, 3296 by 2472 uh, pixels at 5.5 micron where the 8300 is 3326 by 2504 at 5.4 micron. Now if you look at the, the CCDs right there, uh, this one over here is an 8300 chip and this one right here is the A8050. They're almost identical in size so I expect the performance to be uh, pretty similar to the uh, 8300 chip. This particular setup comes with a uh, an 8 position filter wheel and as you can see if you look here at the top there's these numbers of each of the positions of the filter wheels. It should cool down I think uh, at uh, minus 40 C. On the bottom here you can see the, the power port and uh, a USB port and then uh, an auxiliary port there uh, the, um, the only thing I, I kind of uh, don't like too much about it is that it's a 6 volt uh, power system and you know most everything runs off of 12 Astrodon filters that I got uh, I got the True Balance LRGB series I series excuse me it's the I series uh, for interline uh, CCDs and that's what I have uh, they also make another E series, but if you have an interline C C D you need the I series. Uh, it's a set of four. They're 1.25 inch and uh, these are generation two and I'll be trying these out and seeing how they work. I also uh, went ahead and stepped up and got a uh, a narrow band filter set of the Astrodons, the uh, the three nanometers, and I got the H Alpha S2 and O3 uh, filters and I know that these filters will probably require longer exposure for uh, uh, the so narrow of three nanometers but uh, I really wanted to give that a try and, and see if uh, how these perform. Uh, one of the things too that I um, also tried are, is, are, is a, uh, a dark filter and <laughs> you know I guess you could put uh, the uh, telescope lens cover on but it was an inexpensive filter uh, it's like 20 bucks and uh, so what it's made for is just to uh, be a dark black filter and when you uh, have the filter wheel go to the dark frame of course then it's supposed to block out all the light and therefore be able to take a dark uh, maybe that might come in handy uh, if you wanted to do imaging and then maybe take a dark during the night uh, without having to get out and cover your telescope. Uh, my particular camera does not have a shutter on it. So if your camera has a shutter then of course you could use the shutter. There you have it. I have all the filters in there. Uh, what I did is I went ahead and made a note of all the positions of the filters. Uh, they do have numbers on them and this way I will not forget it uh, when I get it back assembled. You will have to identify the filters uh, in your software. I've never had a filter wheel where I could put all my filters in it so this will be uh, a very convenient uh, filter wheel because uh, normally I've had like a, a smaller four position filter wheel and that would ha require me to change out my LRGB or narrowband filters so uh, this is going to be an interesting test to see how 
well and how uh, convenient it's going to be to uh, change the filters to any position that I want at any time. Hooked up the uh, transformer, it's a 6 volt transformer to the camera and I put it on this chain and it allows it to l relieve some of the tension from the cable connection on the bottom of the camera. Uh, what I like about this chain is it just kind of freely goes back and forth without binding on anything. Uh, here's the camera right here, the A8050, the Ascent. Ascent. <laughs> one nice feature of this particular camera and filter wheel is it only requires one USB cable to control the camera and the filter wheel. Should be pretty clear tonight. Hopefully we'll get some images for you to process off of this data set. Be sure to stay tuned for my next video. I will have some CCD images from this hardware for you to download and process. And after you get done downloading and processing these, uh, this data set, please return your results to me and I would, I would like to show them off in the next video. If this is your first time watching, I would like you to subscribe. I publish two astrophotography videos on the 1st and 15th of every month. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon.